ever been just chilling, minding your own business, maybe trying to fall asleep, and then bam, your brain hits you with a memory from 10 years ago. You know the one. That super embarrassing, cringy moment you thought you'd forgotten. It feels like a mental jump scare, right? You're suddenly reliving that time you tripped in front of everyone or said something completely awkward. Why does our brain do this to us? Is it just trying to be mean? Well, not exactly. Your brain is actually a bit of a control freak and it's obsessed with one thing, survival. And a big part of that is avoiding future mistakes. When something humiliating happens, your brain flags it as a high-priority event. It thinks, whoa, that was bad. That could threaten our social standing, which is important for survival. We can't let that happen again. So it stores that memory with extra emotional intensity, making it super vivid and easy to recall. Think of it like this. Your brain is a detective, and that embarrassing moment is the crime scene. By replaying it over and over, your brain is trying to analyze the evidence. It's asking, what went wrong here? How could we have handled that better? What were the warning signs we miss? It's essentially running simulations to prepare you for similar situations in the future. It's a built-in what not to do guide. Your brain genuinely believes it's helping you become a smoother, more socially adept person. But here's the catch. Our brains are terrible at judging the actual impact of these moments. That memory that makes you want to crawl into a hole and never come out? Chances are, most people who were there barely notice. And if they did, they probably forgot about it five minutes later. They're too busy worrying about their own embarrassing moments. Our emotional reaction to the event is almost always way bigger than the actual social fallout. The memory says more about how asterisk you asterisk felt than how others perceived you. So, the next time your brain serves you a fresh slice of cringe from your past, try to remember what it's doing. It's not trying to torment you. It's trying to protect you in its own weird, overzealous way. You could even try saying to yourself, Okay, brain, thanks for the review session. Lesson learned. We're good now. Acknowledge the memory. Remind yourself that it's in the past and nobody else remembers it, and then gently redirect your thoughts. Over time, you can train your brain to understand that these old files are no longer relevant. You've got this. Thanks for watching. If you've ever been attacked by a cringe memory, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into how your brain works. See you next time.